I'm Allie, and I've been living solo in my RV since July 2020. I'm celebrating midlife in my own special way. Good morning from Kofa. I'm outside because it's not too cold out here. Down below there, and if you see the moving vehicles, that is Highway 95. That way going to Yuma, that way going to Quartzsite. And I do have my engine running because my batteries go low overnight. <laughs> I am today going to attempt to see how far up that canyon I can go. It's a lot of bouldering. Um, but there's a really, really nice half mile uh, hike that goes up there. You know what, I'll have to tell you later because frankly, it's getting a little cold out here now. Ready for a hike? Go see how far up I can get up there. There's like a half mile uh, hiking trail to a site that I'll have to show you when I get there. And then beyond that, oh, it's cold. It's gonna be cold up there. I might have to get my jacket. Uh, beyond that is you kind of boulder to the top if you want to. I've gotten pretty far up there, but I was by myself. I started getting a little bit nervous. So we'll see how far up I get today. I'm kind of tired. I slept really hard. I'm still kind of in a daze, but I think I'm gonna get my jacket. <laughs> it's cold. It's a hike to the hike. <laughs> I made it to the trailhead. <laughs> I'm parked about three quarters of a mile down. Someone lost their glasses. Now I've hiked here a few times because I've stayed here a few times in the last couple of years that I've been out here. So this kind of describes how this whole area was formed. I've never seen bighorn sheep out here, but I would love to. Oh, and then this is how, this is called Palm Canyon and how it was formed. I'll take pictures and put them at the end of the video if you wanna read about it. Probably be on my blog as well. www.allyrambles.com Shh. <laughs> You can pick up sometimes, not every time. They have a little, let's see. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. It's like a newsletter for the area for Palm Canyon National Refuge outside of Quartzsite. So since I'm gonna be in a canyon, I have to say goodbye to the sun for a little while cross into the cold shade. Brrr. So I slept hard last night, woke up in the same position I probably fell asleep in. And um, I almost didn't go on this hike this morning because my back was sore, and, but I knew it was from sleeping in the same position. And I figured, let's just get moving. When you don't feel like doing something, ooh, that's when you should. Check this out. This, I have hiked this trail, I don't know how many times. I've never seen this type of green plant in here. Not to say that it didn't exist, but I've never seen it like this. Um, Arizona 
Arizona had a really, really good monsoon season this year. And I'm noticing the deserts and, the, well, the deserts. That's all I've been to in Arizona so far. Um, this year. No, wait. Um, this fall and winter. Because I was up in Flagstaff in September. That is not desert. Anyway, um, it's just so much greener. And the, it's just beautiful. I am not used to it that green. I've been in Arizona now for three years as a resident. So traveling in and out. But I always come back here in the winter um, with my RV. Stay with mom for a little while and kind of just linger. And this is as green as I've ever seen it. So in my short time here. We're at the top. So here's the top. It's about a half mile from the trailhead. You get this beautiful view. And you are surrounded by this beautiful lava. No, it's not lava. This was a volcanic explosion. I don't know. 70 million years. I don't know how many years ago. Millions of years ago. Formed this canyon. Whew, it's just so pretty. So what you do is you'll come up here, and the first time I was up here, I didn't see this, but it says palms. And then you look over there, but I'm not gonna show you because you have to come yourself. Um, this trail is not hard. It is an incline, but if you just take your time, you can make it, unless of course you have um, health issues that might keep you from doing it. But um, I've seen a lot of people up here when it's warmer. It's quite chilly right now. So not gonna show you the palms. <laughs> what I am gonna do is continue to just kind of rock climb a little bit. And, um, cause I'm not tired yet. Excuse me, it's not rock climbing. I shouldn't call it that. I do believe we go this way. This is when you get a little bit more, <laughs> this stuff hurts guys. This stuff hurts. <laughs> it grabs onto your clothes. <laughs> Um, I take it back. I'm not rock climbing. This would be boulder climbing. And I think I have to go down there. So where that is, um, the trail technically ends. But you can see quite a few people have created trails that go up into the canyon. And I've been quite a bit up there. Um, it doesn't look as steep up there. And it's just big boulders and you just keep climbing. They start off kind of smaller like this, and then they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Let's see how far up I can get today. Needless to say, I'm going to be using two hands. But this section, I think I can handle without two hands. Maybe. <laughs> so at this point... I could try to get over those, but I looked on the other side and it looks like there's a bunch of plants. Or I can just, I do believe people have been going this way. Some of it feels familiar. I think I, I've done this, well, it's not really a trail, but it's a makeshift trail. Um, I've done it a couple times. And after you do it a few times, you start to recognize, okay, this is where I climbed that way, this way. And I think I've come this way before, but after the rains and all the rocks and trees that have covered this area, it changes the trail. So it actually seems a little easier this time. And speaking of big rains, I did check the weather. There's no rain in the forecast anywhere, I think in Arizona today, because I am hiking a waterway and I'm assuming a flash flood could occur here as well. Down there, check this out. Isn't it just beautiful? This is how far up I am. Can't see the trailhead anymore. <laughs> well, this is where it definitely gets more technical. 
you're bushwhacking through trees and these trees have thorns let me show you they grab onto your shirt and your backpack see these little guys here let's see where's my finger there's my finger yeah they're all over <laughs> Everything in the desert, I always say. I always say everything in the desert wants to kill you. <laughs> Jokingly, it doesn't. It's just, you know, everything's thorny. But um, I'd have to start climbing some bigger boulders. Not in the mood today. I'm by myself. Um, yes, people know where I am. I'm just by myself. So there are more hikers coming. I don't know if they'll come up this high, but... Last year, I did continue going up. Um, I was pretty far up there because there was a couple in front of me, so I felt safe. And they knew I was back there, and every so often I'd talk to them or something, but they were ahead of me. And if I feel like I'm just a little tired or um, the trail gets more technical, like my last trail that I hiked, it was getting more technical there was a lot of scree <laughs> like this but it was on the side of a mountain uh, if you didn't see that one it's most likely my last video sometimes ow ow pulled on me so anyway um if i feel like it's just going to be too much of a challenge and i'm not a hundred percent i know i'm not a hundred percent today i'm dragging i feel like i'm still half asleep except for this cold it woke me up um, I will turn around. I won't go any further. I'm not going to risk injury or I don't think I'd get lost. There really isn't anywhere to go except up and down on this one. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't take big risks when I'm by myself. And like that, I am back on the main trail. It wasn't like that. I did have to scramble some boulders, but that was fun. Because, let's see, I just saw it. There's the sign for the palms. So I'm going to go ahead and hike down and go back to the RV. That was just a mad rush to get down to that sun. <laughs> because my hands are cold from touching all the rocks. So now it's downhill to get to the sun and thaw out. We're almost to the sun. We got some rock hounds up here. <laughs> There's always people looking for, I think, quartz and other types of rock and gems in the area. I'm outside of Quartzsite, so you get a lot of people um, looking for rocks and buying them out here too. So, there's home sweet home. And I hiked up into there, into that shadowy area. The sun feels so good. Mm -hmm. 